All right. Good day, everyone. It has been a while since uh, Psych and 4 Games has been streaming. Um, first and foremost, before we get into today's topic, an apology for not being as active online as I could have been. Again, real life comes first, as most of you know. I've been working a lot lately, so I decided to reduce the streaming significantly, and I present to you today a little bit different content that you might or might not appreciate. I would um, kindly ask you to comment in the section below if you like the comment, uh, if you like the um, content, and if you like uh, what I've prepared for you. Um, and off we go. So uh, we are going to see a little bit uh, different content this time. We are going to see some Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, in the playlist below I've covered uh, the real footage of um, a session that I've essentially been playing over the couple of weeks in the sparse uh, spare time that I did have. So with that being said, let me introduce to you the Red Hand of Doom. With the statement of uh, the warlord Kul himself, war is gathering in the dry brown hills known as the Worm Smoke Mountains. As midsummer settles over the land, uh, smothering everything in the heat and dust, the fierce warriors of the Kulkor Zul, people of the dragon in the hobgoblin tongue, gather beneath the dreaded red hand banner, ready to sweep down out of the Worm Smoke Mountains and conquer the human lands below. So this campaign is a pre-set uh, module, which is basically um, looking at uh, what is the Elsa Vale. It is probably the best pre-written uh, pre module of Dungeons & Dragons 3.5. It got a ton of uh, good reviews. It's even voted as uh, top 10 of the best adventure passes ever written. It is uh, taking place in the Elsa Vale that you can see in the background. And the core story, without spoiling too much, is that a giant army is gathering in the Worm Smoke Mountains, which you can see right here. Um, and it's going to march and kill off all of the cities in the Vale. Um, the humans and the adventure party are going to uh, try to uh, spoil that and try to set up a nice little defense in Brindle. Now, why um, this adventure is probably one of the well, uh, best and well-written adventures, and it is also one that is just an awesome uh, experience. I've played it uh, a couple of years ago and I decided to dungeon master it. What are we going to play? For those who aren't uh, familiar with it, we're going to use the, in my opinion, greatest role-playing game that has been uh, uh, ever invented, which is called the Dungeons & Dragons 3.5. It is a very complex, very in-depth, detailed, strat uh, strategic role-playing uh, game. And for those of you who know me from the stream, uh, it has a lot to do with um, uh, XCOM, um, on the tactical layer, just a little bit uh, more difficult on the ruling part, way, way, way more content and also way more fun uh, if you have the right people to play with. Um, it is a little bit slower paced, so I will try to make the sessions as entertaining as possible, to speed it really up as much as possible and to progress as fast as possible. Um, but you can expect that it is slower than a uh, role uh, th than a computer game. We are going to use an online engine to do that. The game, game environment will be sponsored by Roll20, which is basically an on, uh, online engine to implement all of the worlds. I have completely implemented the world of, um, of uh, Red Hand of Doom, so the whole adventure path exists as maps. And uh, you will see that um, uh, it is... A really, really nice setup for some tactical strategic battles. Um, the emphasis of the whole adventure path will be approximately 30% role playing, 70% uh, fighting. So those of you who enjoy tactical combats and um, and enjoy like uh, tactic uh, uh, tactic games in general will definitely be interested in that. Now to round up the introduction of the campaign that you're about to see, I wanted to give you a short introduction of the heroes. Uh, there will be an in-depth video about the rules of character creation for, for those of you who already know Dungeons & Dragons 3.5. It will be a little bit more in-depth and not as beginner-friendly, so I put it very much at the end of, um, of the playlist. 
Um, but this here is the introduction should cover at least the characters. Um, I'm playing with four uh, players that are going to join us. Um, one called Maneth. Um, he is going to play a totemist, which is a class from the Magic of Incarnum. You can imagine him as the frontline melee character. He has ro uh, he has uh, built together quite nice stats. We are using point by, and he's going to be the um, party frontliner, so to speak. We do have Milo, which is going to be some sort of an evil halfling breed uh, warlock, which is a, a magical wielding class that has done a pact with a demon. He's going to uh, provide magic damage per uh, round, I would rather say, not damage per second, and utility in terms of casts. We do have Phineas, uh, who is a human factotum, a class from Dungeonscape, which is a stealth-based, uh, very much skill monkey-oriented uh, class, so he can bring to the table a lot of these search, find, spot, uh, trap this arm checks that the party definitely will need. And last but not least, Solomon, the uh, strong armed halfling. He is going to play a ranged physical DPS build um, that is focusing on crossbow sniper. Uh, he's mixing a couple of uh, physical classes, uh, therefore, he's playing a thug rogue divine mind uh, fighter class for maximum feats. And is you can expect a lot of DPS and some nice quotes out of him. Character-wise, Maneth, the frontliner, is rather a calm Goliath, a stone race um, that is big, brutish, um, and um, and uh, very physically oriented. The two halflings are uh, different in character, one halfling being rather the demonic selfish one, and the other one being more of a bounty hunter type. And Phineas, last but not least, is just in for the thrill of the adventure. So if you can align with what I've said, and if you would like to see more of that, please just um, view the streams below. I've put together this, uh, the playlist so you can enjoy it. As always, stay calm, stay focused, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.